Hey my friend, welcome to Joe Stake. In this video, I am going to tell you how to install Plotly library in Python. Let's do it right away. So the first step will be to open the terminal. So I'm going to press command space on my Mac and then type terminal. I'm going to click on this and there you go. Terminal is open. Before you install the Plotly library in Python, first of all, Python should be installed in your machine. So to check if Python is installed in your machine, you should type the command python3 hyphen hyphen version. So this command has given the version of the Python that is installed on my machine. If you don't have Python installed, then you can install it by watching this video in the I button. Now the next thing that we are going to do is to create a Python project folder. So I'm going to create this project folder in my desktop. So I'm going to get inside my desktop first using the CD command. All right, I am in my desktop. Now let me create a Python project folder using the command mkdir. And I'm going to name this folder as plotly underscore install. And you can see plotly underscore install is created on my desktop. Now I'm going to get inside this folder using the cd command again. So it will be cd space plotly underscore install. All right, I am inside the plotly underscore install folder that I'm going to check using the pwd command. Now the next step will be to create a virtual environment within this python project folder plotly underscore install. So the command to create Python virtual environment is very easy. It's Python 3 hyphen M V N V that stands for virtual environment and the name of the virtual environment. So let it be plot Lee underscore V N V. I hit enter. And since there is no error, I am assuming that the virtual environment plotly underscore VNV has been successfully created. Let's check it using the command ls hyphen LTR. And there you go. You can see plotly underscore VNV created already. This is the virtual environment. Now we need to activate it before we actually begin the installation of the library plotly. Now the next step will be to activate the plotly underscore vnv virtual environment which is very easy because we are under the plotly underscore install folder only. So the command is dot plotly underscore vnv forward slash bin forward slash activate. I hit enter and there you go the virtual environment has been activated the appearance of its name within brackets in front of the prompt is the evidence that this virtual environment is active. Now the next thing that we are going to do is to install the plotly library finally and we are going to do it using pip. So the command will be pip install plotly. I hit enter and the installation has begun. All right, the installation took a few seconds, but the good thing is that it has completed successfully. You can see the label over here. It says successfully installed Plotly version is 5.11.0. Okay, now we are going to check if the Plotly library has indeed been successfully installed and we can check it by typing the command pip list which is going to display the list of packages installed in this environment plotly underscore vnv. I hit enter and you can see plotly available over here in this list. Let's also check programmatically the successful installation of the plotly library. To do that, we need to get inside the Python prompt, which we can get into using the command python3. There you go. We are inside the Python prompt and then I'm going to import the plotly library using the statement import plotly. All right, it worked fine. Now let's type the version of the plotly library, which we can easily do using plotly dot double underscore version double underscore. I hit enter and it should print the version 5.11.0, the one which you see over here. And there you go the version 5.11.0 has been printed which is an evidence 
that the Plotly library has been successfully installed in this virtual environment Plotly underscore VNV, which was created in this Python project folder Plotly underscore install. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you learned how to install the Plotly library in Python 3.10. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Until then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.